Even though I know I bought my wallet, when I cannot initially find it in my purse, I always want to think the worst. Oh my god, I left it at home. Oh my god, I gotta go back. Oh my god, I'm 15 miles away. Blah, blah, blah. Anxiety. So I had to do a quick run to the grocery store to replace something that was obviously bad after I lost power on what day was that? It doesn't matter. Saturday. And I got spinach, but not only did I get spinach, but cookies, and then proof that I actually got the spinach. Anytime there is something significant happening in the calendar, I tend to do a little bit of reflecting. Tomorrow is my birthday, so I'm like, what has happened in the past year, two years ago, three years ago? And uh, I like to do a lot of reflecting on myself because I have come a long way. If you've been in my channel long enough, I'm pretty sure that you have perceived that yourself or they're doing some construction nearby. So if you hear something weird, that's what it is. But I'm just happy about the changes that have taken place because there is no way that I would be the person that I am today had it not been for those experiences. So today I want to express things that I think I do that turn people off. And one of them has to be my overthinking. When I overthink, I tend to ruin my own days. There's nothing wrong going on right now, nothing wrong going on in my day. But then I start overthinking about something, I ruin my own mood, and I get anxious, and... Unfortunately, I have developed techniques to cope with that. I keep those at a minimum. Only something extreme, like, say, my mom's procedure, is the only thing that I was like, okay, when this happens, this is what I can expect, this is what I gotta do, and having a plan. Another thing I think turns people off is whenever I'm irritated about something or annoyed by something and I'm telling them the story of it but I tend to be mad sounding mad sounding irritated to the point that I cuss and everything it's not that I am actually altered emotionally it's not that I'm really that angry it's just that since the moment that I experience the frustration, I like to be civilized and keep my cool and not sound rude to the person. If you're someone who I'm close to and I know well enough, I feel comfortable being myself, being who I meant to be the moment that happened, which was, say, if your door hits my car, I'm going to be mad because there's no reason for that. The moment it happens, I'm like, oh, you know, you're right and careful, you know, and this and that. In reality, I want to explode. Anything that should make me mad doesn't. And like a year ago or two years ago, whenever that guy ran into me and, and the Rav while he was backing up, I would have been angry. But for some reason, the moment it happened, I was like, well, his fault. Let me just step out and see what's happening. In conclusion, maybe the way that I narrate a story of something that happened to me and I sound extremely dramatic and angry, I feel like that may turn people off about me. But if they know me very, very well and much better, they know that that's just me narrating and I in no way mean that anger that I express. Same goes with whenever I have a frustrating story about work. I may be irritated and whatnot, but I still love the people I work with. I would still defend them if I saw them getting attacked and rescue them if I saw them drowning because I see that they are humans before anything else. It just so happens to be a human that at some point in time annoyed me. <laughs> Another thing that I think may turn people off about me is whenever I'm my worst self-critic. I'm my worst critic. Nobody ever tells me that, say, my when I practice Spanish, nobody tells me that my Spanish sucks. But I tell myself that it sucks. And the same thing with French. Nobody ever tells me that my French sucks. They only say that my pronunciation is not very clear sometimes, but they don't say it's terrible, it's the worst I've heard, it sucks. I tell myself that. Same thing with music. No one has ever told me that I sing horribly. 
but I tell myself I can't do this well. I'll never be good at this. So being my worst critic probably turns people off about me. Another thing that I think turns people off about me is that, and I don't mean to do this, it's just a natural talent, I guess. And it's whenever I am able to finish sentences and stories for people. They're getting ready to tell me something and I'm finishing their sentences. And sometimes I don't even know that I am speaking out loud what they're getting ready to say. It's probably something that I had thought of before they told me so I can just fill in the blanks for them. Or maybe I'm psychic. But <laughs> sometimes I feel like the person may think that I'm not listening to them actively when I do that, but then I prove them wrong whenever the topic comes back up. And I tell them, yeah, I remember the time that you told me all of this. And then they're like, that's a good memory. And finally, I think another thing that would turn someone off about me is my self-doubt. At my job, for example, there have been many occasions in which there has been an opening for, say, a higher position, a supervisor position. I don't take it. And I'm immediately going like, I get too stressed, I get tired, I already hate working four to five days a week. Imagine doing exactly five days a week for eight hours. Additionally, I just felt like I'm too shy for it or I will get walked all over, things like that. I am pointing out my own flaws before anybody else does and a lot of the times the things that I say are my weaknesses are not even weaknesses relevant to what I'm getting into. Pretty much my constant doubt. So for the past two, three years, that's what I've been working on, which is approach everything that I do with confidence. And honestly, that's one of the things that brought me to vlogging in the first place. What would help me? And I said, I need to listen to myself and look at myself in a way that is from a third person point of view, and then ask myself, would I be friends with this person that I'm seeing? And every time I play back one of my videos, I say yes. And I know that a video is beyond terrible whenever I look at the playback and I'm like, there is no way that sounds like the kind of friend I want to have. So that's when I'm like, okay, what can I change about this to make it better? And there I go. Well, you guys, those are a few of the things that I could think of that I can say I believe would turn people off about me based on what people have told me, based on the kinds of reactions I get from people, based on how I behave and what I say. What do you guys think? Those of you who have been hanging out in the channel for a while, what have you learned about me? What do you like about me? But at the same time, what is something that you wish I would change? Don't be afraid to tell me because maybe you'll help me realize that there is a flaw that I need to address that I was unaware of. I'm taking my change, my improvement as a person into my own hands and this is one of the many ways that I have of going about it. Alright guys, as always, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you soon.